and like you gotta tap a button real fast to get your player to uh, run real fast in the in like a hundred meter dash. And and Lucky Star they made a parody of that by saying like, um, "How do you run so fast, Kona Todd?" And they said, and she said. Uh, well, I imagine myself playing this old video game, and like I don't know, they made—they actually made uh, reference to other animes like uh, Shuffle. Uh, I remember coming to I was at this manga store, and I saw a volume five of Shuffle. I'm like, wow, I actually like Shuffle. Yeah, I've watched Shuffle through, and it's pretty good. It's—it's uh, it's not really got any action in it, except for like two episodes, and that's it. It's not really action, it's just more like suspense and drama. And there is some good comedy in that, I gotta give it that, like... I, yeah, but... Holy crap, this place that took me long at all, I thought it was gonna take me at least two hours. I might, might as well go ahead and record the Volcano Force Point Temple. Because that's really short. And this is the boss I was talking about that I said that feels like the only boss, but we gotta get tricky to... Do that. No, I'm not going to the Volcano Force Point Temple because I remember something very annoying there. He's got the spell stone. I'm trying to think what other boss is like this one that I've seen. Because you have to go inside his body and attack him. I, I know there's another game I played that does the same thing. This guy may look big and bad, but he's really easy if you know how to fight him. The he, he reminds me of Ganon, in a way. I think they got some of the ideas that fight this guy from Ganon from Ocarina of Time. You'll see when I'm in a second, but pull out your staff, you're, kinda, you're just automatically locked onto him. But as you see, there's his tail, and you gotta hit that. Uh, well, that's not his weak point, it's just like, for right now it is. He has three different weak points, and you gotta try and get around him and then shoot him with the fireballs. You gotta be fast, though, and sometimes you can get lucky, and I'm gonna say, this is gonna sound nasty, but you can shoot him through the crotch. You gotta wait for him to start doing attacks, and then after that, shoot his tiny. And when that's done, he will eat Fox, and you attack his Uvula. I think that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure this is his Uvula. And this part right here is disgusting in itself, and I know I've seen a game where you do this. Yoshi's Island! That was it, Yoshi's Island did this. You gotta load when you realize stuff from older games. <gasps> then we gotta do that two more times. See, this guy feels like a generic boss. The other ones just feel like freaking crap. Is this where his weight point is? Yeah. You can only attack that right there and when he's uh, doing his attack. You'll see here in a second when he starts to breathe in. You gotta wait and dodge his attack. When he starts, like, taking in air or something like that, you'll see in a second. I no, that's not it. Did you just do the attack? I know what he does. He that's it. But I need to get some more air uh, stuff. I really like this boss. It just it feels like a generic boss, but all the other ones are just crap. There's one where you just ride a uh, platform and you shoot him. That's all you do, and it's really just... I think the worst boss in the game is, um, like this, t I don't know what's hitting me, it's probably the fire. Uh, there's like only one boss in the game, if I remember right, that really, really does get on my nerves. It's like this T-Rex boss, and like, he's so stupid because you have to stand on these platforms to electrify it, and when you do, he'll be stunned for a second, you gotta pick up barrels and hit him in the head with it. It's really annoying because by the time you get the barrels, sometimes he's already up and at him because the barrels and the electric stuff is not is kind of far away from each other. So like you'll see what I mean when I fight that boss, but it won't be for a little while longer. I'm guessing it'll be about part 40 something because all in all, this game may take me about up to part 60. That's about the average I've seen whenever I see the let's plays of this game. More time, and he's dead, I think. Yeah, one more time. No way, I think that's it. Oh, no. I think that's it. I don't remember him having another weak point. Okay, I guess you only did it twice. Right? I don't think he has another weak point. Unless it's his head, that's the only other place I can imagine it being. Nope, that's it. Yep, 
yeah, real easy boss, though, you know, nothing to really worry about. And that's it, Dark Ice Mines in the can. Oh, you must forgive your father. <sighs> you must work that's together it. to lead the Snowhorn tribe against Scales instead of fighting each other. I will, Fox. Because of you, my people shall no longer live as slaves. <sighs> okay. There, there's like we'll a heart container. We gotta take this spellstone back to the planet. Yeah, but we're gonna end it off here for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, Star Fox Adventures today. Uh, when I did Dark Eyes Mines, so I will see you guys next time when we head to the Volcano Force Point Temple. We put the Spellstone back and we go to uh, Cape Claw, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to try and make this a cool outro. Okay, I will see you guys later. Bye. See you later.